coach, what did you see in the players tonight and you want to see them do in the second round of the series? Yeah, I think just the belief to hold the ball and keep possession and uh, just wait for our moments to go forward. I think it was great to, uh, to get some goals and uh, some, some confidence. We uh, haven't scored a huge amount of goals in the last you know, four or five games, so to get three goals tonight from uh, three different players and just sort of three different types of goals was really, really pleasing. But I think overall I thought we bossed the ball and, and maintained possession so well and just forced Lamar to chase for long periods of the game. And um, I think the only disappointing thing really was just the goal that we gave away. But, um, you know, just really proud of the players. They came out, I thought it was a really professional performance from start to finish. And then, uh, so the team was out too at the half. Um, what did you tell them to keep them motivated and prepared for that second half? Yeah, you know, 2 nils the most dangerous scoreline in soccer. If, uh, if we get the third, then I think it puts the game away. and. Uh, if they get one, then you know the momentum shifts a little bit. So we just talked about, you know, continuing to do the things that we were doing right before halftime of just keeping the ball, making them chase. But could we be a little bit more direct into our front two at times? And um, you know, I think we we showed in the second half that we've got the capability to to just link and build out of the back, but also to be a little bit more direct and, and play big balls in behind them. And with our pace up top, we can always you know threaten from a from a more direct ball. So. You know, I think it was great to see so many shots on goal tonight. Um, I think we hit the crossbar on the post a couple of times and their goalkeeper made a couple of fantastic saves as well. So definitely could have been more, but we're just thrilled to get the win and, uh, and advance to, to play Florida State next week. And then so how, uh, you kind of touched on it a little bit um, you know, as we've been talking, but how, what's the biggest way the team can improve before you guys play in the next round? Yeah, you know, Florida State, they're reigning national champions, so it's going to be a huge test. Um, you know, I, I think we've just got to make sure that um, we're defensively really organized and compact and, um, and just difficult to break down. And then, uh, you know, just possession is everything. You know, if you've got the ball, you can't, the other team can't hurt you. So Florida State are a ball playing team. I think it's going to be a great game, um, but we're going to go to Tallahassee with a lot of confidence and uh, you know, I think this team's proven all season long that we can score goals, we've got goals throughout the team and um, you know, just the team spirit and team chemistry at the moment is at an all time high, so just really, really excited to see what we can, what we can do next week. Alright, and then last question for you. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this the uh, first time the team has appeared in this tournament since 2018? We were in the NCAAs last year. We lost in the first round to Memphis um, last year. So this is the first time since 2018 we've been into the, we've hosted and made it to the second round. Okay. So what, what does that mean to this team? Yeah, you know, I, I think this this team and this program, you know, I think we're just building. We're, we're gaining a lot of traction. We've had, you know, just an unbelievable couple of years in terms of, um, just, I think, sustained results in uh, just two senior classes that have left an unbelievable legacy and given us the opportunity to build for the future. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I think we're one of, one of 32 teams still in the national tournament, still playing, so we're just really excited. You know, there's over 300 Division I programs in the country, and we're just really excited to still be playing at this round of the tournament. And, um, you know, it's just one game at a time at this point. Um, I think we were really confident for the second half. We just thought we should play our game like we did in the first half. And you could see in the second half how good we are, like how good we can be and how many shots we got on goal. And yeah, we were really happy with our performance. And then what do you think was the biggest factor that contributed to the impact? Um, I think we were just really focused before we went to the game because it's really easy to like think it's going to be an easy win or whatever, but we were all really like dedicated to wanting to win and that's what we did. And then, so how, how, important is for you, uh, how important is it for you guys to communicate on the field? You're so far away sometimes? And it's just, it seems... I think it's very important. Um, we have good leaders on the pitch that take control and others just follow. Like we all have different roles and everyone listens when people speak on the field, so it's very important. Alright, and then last question for you, how does it feel to be advancing to the second round of this tournament? Feels great, I can't wait, playing Florida State, 
um, be a good game. We're ready for it. Is it intimidating? They're national, they're no. national champions? No. Not really. Well, they're obviously good, but we, we're good too, so everything can happen. And yeah, I think it'll be a good game.